Hey what's going on guys today I'm gonna create a really cool thing I will show you how to make this 3d tilt effect using Elementor Pro so you can see when I move the mouse cursor it changes its direction which makes it feel like a real 3d object cool right so without further ado let's build this 3d animation Okay, so here you can see I have created a section and on the left column we have inserted some content. So now on the right column I want to add my 3D mobile. So for this, first of all we need two things. Here if we go to our folder, here we need a screenshot and we also need a mobile frame. Okay, but here you can see this mobile frame has a white background. First of all, we need to remove that background and need to make that a PNG image. So for this, let's go to a website called Photopia. So basically, this is an online photo editing tool and here the interface almost looks like an Photoshop. So from here, we will make our image PNG. So let's go to file and click on open and I want to select this one okay so first of all let's click on this magic one tool and here click on the outside space of this mobile frame so let's click on here and here you can see the outer space has been selected right now let's press delete and you can see our background has removed from the outer side and we also need to do that for the inner area so let's click on here and also press delete so our background has successfully removed but here i also don't want to keep this extra transparent space so i want to trim this image so let's go to image and click on the trim option and click on ok so our image has successfully cropped so right now to save this image again go to files and under export as save this as a png image click on save okay now the image has been saved so let's go back to our pages and here let's add those image but here i don't want to use the image widget instead first of all let's take an intersection here and in this intersection i don't want this extra column so let's delete this and first of all let's set a height for this intersection so go to intersection settings set the minimum height to 600 pixel then let's add our mobile frame so for this let's go to the style tab and go to the background overlay so from here i want to add my mobile frame so go to this background option and select the image let's drag this to here and click on insert media okay now let's adjust the size of this image so first of all let's make the position to center center and from the size i want to make it to contain so you can see the frame has perfectly fit inside our inner section but here i don't want to make it repeat so let's make the repeat to no repeat and make the opacity to fully 100 percent okay our mobile frame has done now let's add our screenshot so for this go to background and from here let's upload our screenshot to here And we also need to adjust the size of this. So first of all, let's make the position to center center. And for this, make the size to custom. And from here, instead of percentage, I want to select pixel. And let's adjust the width. Okay, but before that, let's make the repeat to no repeat. And I want to make it around 263 pixel. So for this width, it's perfectly fit inside our frame. So here one thing you need to keep in mind that for this screenshot try to keep the aspect ratio as same as our mobile frame so it will perfectly fit inside that. Otherwise if you take a different aspect ratio like one by one which is fully square in that case that really looks very weird inside this frame so you need to keep that in mind. Okay now you can see our mobile looks perfect but here we need to animate that. So for this, first of all, we need to go to the parent column settings of this inner section. So this is our inner section and this is the parent column of that. So let's click on here and go to the advanced settings and from the motion effect, let's turn on the mouse effect option. And if we try to edit this mouse track, so right now you can see with our mouse moving, 
this mobile has changed its position on the opposite side of our cursor from here if we make it to direct so right now you can see the direction has been changed now it's moving forward our mouse cursor and from here we can control the speed of the moving i want to set it to 0.5 and then let's turn on the 3d tilt so right now if we move our mouse you can see this nice 3d tilt effect and also for this you can change the speed from here so if we increase this so right now it's more intense but i would like to keep it to default 4 so right now it looks okay but here i want to make it a more 3d feel so what i want to do i want to place the screenshot a little bit behind from our mobile frame so let me show that if we go to the inner section settings and under this background here is the mouse effect so let's turn on this and if we turn on this mouse track okay now on mouse moving you can feel a 3d effect so it's feel like the screenshot is a little bit behind of this mobile frame so we can feel the real 3d effect cool so from here you can also control the intensity if we make it to this okay now we can see it looks more behind from our frame but it looks weird because it goes outside of our frame so let's adjust this to 0.6 okay now this is perfectly fit inside our mobile frame and here one last thing i want to show you so if we go to this section settings and set a different background for this so now if we moving our mouse you can see the corner has been shown outside of our frame which is not looking so good so that's why i use a white background for our this section so if we have a dark screenshot then you can also match the background color with that otherwise you can see these weird corners around these mobile phones so right now that looks perfect on our desktop device so let's take a look at from our tablet device so if we go to here that also looks perfect from tablet we don't need to do anything from here and if we check it from mobile okay so on mobile i want to place this phone above this text so first of all for this let's go to the section and go to advanced and from responsive i want to reverse these two columns so reverse columns for mobile let's turn on this and i also want to reduce the size of this mobile phone so if we go to the inner section from here go to layout and you can see you have set the height 600 pixel for our desktop but for our mobile phone i want to make it to 400 pixel okay we also need to adjust our screenshot so again go to the style tab and from the background option again select this size to custom and select pixel then control the size from here okay perfect so that's how you can create this 3d tilt effect and create this awesome 3d mobile phone thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next tutorial